Did you know that you can play chord backup parts on the violin and fiddle? Woke up this morning, smiled with the rising sun. Three little birds, each by my doorstep. So this is a role normally played by the guitar, mandolin, or piano. But you can do it too, using two note double stop chords on the fiddle. First step is to learn and practice and master just three chords, D, G, and A. D, G, A. Next step is to practice the transitions between those chords. So practice going from D to G. Start with very simple rhythms like that, just two notes or four notes. Next thing, let's go D to A, D to A, D to A, finally G to A, G, A, G. So before moving on, make sure that you've absolutely memorize these chords and that you can easily do each of these transitions. Now if you're at that point, then congratulations, you can now play chord progressions. Two or more chords is a progression. So you've mastered these chord progressions. Next step, add a simple rhythm to those. So add maybe the train pattern. Let's try hold down, long, short, short, long, to A, A, to A, and triplets. The triplet pattern can help you with waltzes eventually and with jigs. Okay, so you've done rhythms on each of these chords, you've mastered the transitions. The, the next step is to learn 20 songs that use just these three chords. So it's very important that you stick to this rule because you're learning the process. You're not, you've mastered the chords, now you're gonna go very deep with these chords and learn a whole bunch of songs. So I started with Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. Another good song you can do would be This Land Is Your Land. This land is your land, this land is my land from California. sing and play, I, I don't think you should start with that. Just start by playing along with some other source and playing the, the chords to that. Maybe find somebody to play with. But stick to these three chord songs. They'll really serve you. There's a whole bunch more and I'll list some on the Fiddlehead lesson page. So once you've learned, by the way, Woody Guthrie, he's probably written like a thousand chords, a thousand songs that use three chords. So if you like him, then go further and learn a whole bunch of his songs. So that's pretty much it. Once you've learned 20 songs and you've mastered these chords, you really will understand this process of how to play along with songs. And then the rest is just sort of little variations on a theme. You learn another chord, you kind of get the idea, and then you practice it. Let's say you learn an E minor chord, you practice the transition from D to A. But you've already built that foundation of how to do the chord backup process. Anyway, let me know if you still have questions, hit me up in a comment, and also know that I've got a full course in my Fiddlehead course on chord backup. So if you really like this, then go further and learn with me there. Okay, thanks for watching. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video Excellent! And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.